So today I'm going to be showing you how to knit your first newborn beanie. And we're going to be using double pointed needles. And they seem really intimidating and they're really not um, in the round. So if you've tried to knit a newborn beanie before with double with um, circular needles, you probably realized really quickly that either the string was too long, which you probably found a way around, or the last problem that you can't find a way around is that the knitting needle was too long. So the answer to that is the double pointed needles. And I know that's what I'm saying. They look intimidating because there's a lot of them, but they're really not. So what we're going to be using today is double pointed needles size eight. This yarn calls for size nine. So I had to make some calculations. Um, it, I calculated that I should have 52 cast on stitches, but we're going to go with 48, which I'll show you how to do also in another video. This yarn is called Basic Yarn from Walmarks um, Mainstays. It is medium four and it calls for a size nine. So, but that's okay. We're good with this yarn. Um, it's a little tighter knit. So, we are going to use the long tail cast on method, which also seems intimidating, but I promise it's really okay. So for the long tail method, we're going to need to have about three feet of yarn out already. <clears throat> and the way we're going to do it is put your yarn on your needle, put your fingers through and make a V. So you've got your thumb, your pointer finger, and you're holding on with your other fingers kind of loosely. Then this is the part that looks crazy, but once you do it a few times, you realize how extremely easy it is. So I like to do it this way. I turn my hands over. I put the needle through the, the piece of yarn closest to me on my thumb and push it through. Then pull through the yarn that's on your pointer finger. Then pull that yarn through the entire thing. Just like that. And then you tighten it up a little bit. And you have two stitches. So I'll show you one more time really slow. Okay. So it's just hanging there. Put your fingers in. Hold on at the bottom. Turn your hand over. Put your knitting needle through. Bring it through the yarn on your pointer finger. And then bring it through the whole thing. Tighten it up a little. Okay, one more time. Make your diamond, turn it over, knitting needle through the yarn on your thumb closest to you, knitting needle through the yarn on your pointer finger, pull that yarn through the yarn on your thumb. And you got it. <clears throat> and like I said, we're going to put 48 of these stitches on here. So I will see you back here. And it's going to be difficult for them to fit. So just FYA, they're going to be uh, packed on here. But that's okay because we're going to transfer some. So I'll see you back here in a minute.
48 on here, what we're going to do is transfer 16 stitches to another needle. Might cut the tail down a little bit because it's very long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, my phone's going crazy. <laughs> and I've lost count. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And sixteen. down here in the middle so you don't lose that. Then we're going to transfer 16 stitches to this one. One, two, three, four, five, And push that to the middle so we don't lose them and then the end here we'll push that to the middle okay so now we've got something that looks like this um <laughs> the first time i saw it i was like it looks like blair witch it's really scary looking <laughs> um i'm sorry a horror movie fan so this is the way we're going to knit in the round without circular needles so that way we can make our hat as tiny as we want it. Um, the goal is around 11 inches for circumference for a newborn beanie, but it's okay if it's an inch smaller or larger. I like them a little bit smaller just because I feel like if you make them stretchy, then they fit the baby's head better. If they're too big, then they just look really bulky. And that's part of the reason why I like to make these myself because I'm a newborn photographer. Like I want things to match and look right. So now what we're going to do is find our tail, which is like super long. So we know that's not the part we're going to be knitting with, right? This is your working yarn, the one that's attached to the bundle of yarn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this side right here, we're going to keep our working out on the right, we're going to take this side right here, and this is where we're going to have our other sticks into play. This is our working yarn over here, like I said, and this is the part we're going to start knitting on. We're going to do a knit stitch. So you take your needles to get in the front here.
take your working yarn, which is attached to your ball of yarn, and you're going to, because, here, let me turn it this way so you can see it better. Take it around, and then pull it through, push it through. Okay, now right at this point, we're going to want to tighten it up just a little bit. So we're not having a loose, loose hat going on. Once again, we're going to knit into there. Taking our working yarn. Pull it around. And push it through. Pull your stitch off. Then we're going to purl the next two. So to purl, we're going to need to pull our yarn to the front because it's got to start out at the front. If not, we create extra stitches. Then we're going to push through the top, the front piece here instead of the back. Okay. Pull it around. And then we're going to go through the back and pull your stitch off. Our yarn's all the way at the front already, so just push through. We're going to tighten up from the last pull around. And then push through the back here. Pull your stitch off. Now we're going back to knit stitch. So at this point we're going to push our yarn to the back. Right here. Oops. And then we're going to push through here, like we did before. Pull the yarn around, and pull your stitch off. Now, since the yarn's already, already in the back, we'll just push through here again. See that? And pull through. <coughs> And pull it off. Now we're going to purl again. So we're going to have to bring our working yarn to the front, just like that. And we're going to push through the front. And pull your stitch off. Once again, push through the front. Okay, once again, we're going back to knit stitch. Sorry, I'm trying to tighten that up a little bit. I'm going to push the yarn to the back. And so we're going to continue in this fashion all the way around because we're going to end. We started with a knit, 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 went to purl, purl. So we're doing the pattern knit, knit, purl, purl, knit, knit, purl, purl, all the way to the end. And we're going to end with a purl and then start with a knit again. Okay, so we did one stick, now we're on to the second stick, and we do the same thing as with the first stick. So, we start with our knit here. Get our working yarn. I see, I see, yeah. Go play with Dada. You gonna play with Dada? Close the door. That was my toddler. His name is Apollo. <laughs> He's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna knit into the stitch and pull it off. And once again, knit. And pull it off. And then we're gonna purl. So we pull her into the front and we purl. Are you going to help mommy? You're on video. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to purl. So we're going to go to the end of that stick. And then we'll start the next stick the same way. And I'll meet you back here at the end of all of it. Okay, so somehow my microphone went out during this clip. So what I'm telling you to do is 
we finished the first row of our knit knit purl purl knit knit purl purl and or we're finishing I'm finishing it right now and I'm purling the last two of the, the third stick and we're now moving on to the first stick again and we started with the knit knit on the first stick for our first stitch and so that's what we're actually going to do um, oh I'm still on a purl here sorry um, and basically we're gonna do this same pattern for about six to seven rows up we want to get a nice ribbing a pretty ribbing that will keep the beanie a little tighter where the ribbing is so here is we're starting on our first stick once again and you can see in the middle there the tail that's how you know I mean well of course you're done with one stick and the tails there so you're gonna know um, it's different from you know knitting in the round in that respect you definitely know where you're starting from all the time so we're going to do that six to seven rows knit knit purl purl knit knit I know I keep repeating that but it's just it's if you're a beginner it's just you want to remember it so anyway we're gonna be moving on to some troubleshooting after this about two seconds Okay, let's actually do some troubleshooting before we get to the other color because let's say you get interrupted, like, you know, your toddler runs in or something happens and you have to put your work down. Let's figure out where to start from that point. So let's say you're actually completed with a row um, or with a, a, a stick, a knitting needle, and you've put your work down and it's a jumbled mess. Okay. So obviously this is the needle we're working with. And we haven't started a new one because there's nothing on it. We're going to pick it up and we're going to find that whatever piece is attached to the right to our working yarn, which I keep on the right, this is the side that we're working on and then this is our tail, okay? Even if we were in the middle of, of working, which we'll, serve, we'll show you too, um, the way we're going to figure out what stitch we're on is, you see this right here? It's just a line down, and then this right here has a little coming over. These are knit stitches because it creates a V. These are the purl stitches because it goes around. So that way you'll know. Here, let's get through a little bit. So. Let's say we throw it down, we're in the middle of it. So, and like I said, I'm so hard, so sorry, it's so hard for me to show you guys how much easier it is to knit this way. The way I have to hold it for the camera, it just looks <laughs> crazy. You'll you'll find your groove though when you start knitting. Okay, so. So let's say we threw it down and this is where we're at. So there's a couple ways. We know that there's 16 stitches on each stick because we've cast on 48 and so there's 16 on each stick. So one way of figuring out where you're at is to say, okay, well, let's see, I've got three on here. So I know it would be knit, knit, purl. So the next one's gonna be purl. You see? Uh, so it's easier to count because there's less stitches per stick and you can figure that out. But like I said, if you don't feel, if it's too many and you don't want to count, then you can actually just look at your stitches and tell where you're at. You can't really go by where the yarn is laying, like this yarn is in the front, because what if I go through and purl this? And I had to set it down and I left the yarn in the front. But anyway, so there's different ways. We can just say knit, knit, purl, purl. Okay, I'm gonna knit. Or you can count. Um, 
or you can just look at your stitches to figure out where you're at. So I hope that helps you out a little bit because that can be very confusing for a beginner to know exactly where they're at. So we're gonna finish up our six rows, like I said before, and then we're gonna go on to the blue color. to start our blue color. Um, let's see this. It looks really, really small. Um, part of that is due to the ribbing effect we made since it's going to uh, make the beanie snug. And then part of it is how condensed they are on the needles. So we can actually spread it out. Oops, let's not pull it off actually spread it out and see where we're at here. So I'm going to push them back in. Okay. So since this is a be beginner tutorial, I think there are a few ways to add this yarn on and I'm going to show the easiest way. So right now we're working, this is the outside of our hat and this is the inside of our hat. What we're gonna do is take our blue yarn and we're just going to join it, attach it to this piece here. You see, because this our working yarn's coming out of this area over here, so this is where we're going to start. And this is also, you'll see your tail, that that's where you ended with. So we know that this is the beginning. And we're just going to tie it on. Just like that. There's other methods of doing this, but this will be the easiest for now. Um... Take our needle and we're going to start knitting. And we're not going to knit knit pearl pearl anymore. We're going to knit the entire project now. See, you know, I actually went under there, so I need to go in between here. It's easy to make a mistake, but you just have to know what you're doing. So, see? And that's all you have to do. And we're going to keep this inside since this is the outside of our work. For this piece right here, since I'm done with this yarn, I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Done with that. And if you want some, you want to make sure that it's not loosening as you go. So you can actually just kind of pull out here, tie it into your last stitch. And eventually we're going to sew these in 
but this will be the easiest way for you right now. I need to pull this to the end a little bit more. Just kind of like that. Now look, I made a mistake. Okay, so I accidentally pulled and didn't pull it through. Sometimes that'll happen and the stitch will go onto that needle. Since that didn't happen, we're just gonna push it back on, just like that. Nope, did I push it all back on? Nope. There we go. It's easy to fix the mistakes as you make them, as long as you notice them. If you don't, then it's a little more difficult to fix them, but it can be done. Oh, see it happened again, but now it ended up on that uh, needle. So what we're gonna do is put that needle back through. And as you can see, I am having difficulty as well. Okay, so we're gonna go back through and pull around. Okay. And just like the last time, we're going to continue stitching over our next needle and just give it a nice snug, tight up. Oh, see it happen again. I think it's just the, the way I'm trying to knit this while filming it. I just keep losing track and it's hard to hold it. I'm used to holding it kind of chest level and much closer to my face. <laughs> so you'll actually get into the swing of the best way to hold this. And I can't tell you, everybody's a different, so I can't really tell you the, the best way because you kind of just develop it yourself. The way your hands are, or if you have arthritis, or if you have special issues, um, you know, everybody's different. Okay, so we finished our first row of adding the blue in, and we're gonna go on to our second. So as you see, the tail from the gray was sitting in front. Well, since I want to, since this is the outside, all we're gonna to wanna to do is just pull it down so it's not seen, that's it. And we're going to get our new needle. Just push it through. And start knitting again, that's it. Just tighten it up. And I don't know if you noticed on yours, but on mine, when we joined these two here, there was, it seemed to be like a really long piece, like the first row we ever did, it seemed to be like a really long piece. Um, and as we kept knitting and tightening up, you'll see that it has basically disappeared, but you can always use that as the back if it seemed to be like super long for you or something. Mm 
Now, the depth of a newborn beanie is five inches. Um, we're actually going to knit up a little less than that this way um, because we're going to decrease at the top. So when you measure, you're going to measure from here, of course, not from where the blue started because you're going to want it, you know, like, like that. So um, I'm going to knit a bit and then give you the specific measurements that you need. a little dark, I had to turn the light on. I had so much to do today, I wasn't able to get this finished. So basically, um, I decided since this was more of a beginner tutorial, we're going to do a different method. Rather than um, decreasing, we're gonna do it a little bit easier. But the length that I got to was about five inches, but you can do a little less or a little more depending on what type of size hat you need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the yarn, I'd say about two feet. Gonna get our yarn needle, put it through. If I can get it through. This is um, like a drawstring type method. It should be faster and easier for the beginner. I'm terrible at putting yarn through needles. This one is kind of small for this yarn too. Here we go, got it. Yes, success. Okay, good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start threading the yarn through. Okay. I'm so sorry, but you guys can't see this right at first, but you're taking the yarn from one side, you see where it's your working yarn, and you're going to start threading it through the loops on the needle that's on the other side. So you're basically just connecting it and making a drawstring, but you'll see, it'll come back up in a minute, and you'll see me threading the needle through the little loops that are on the needle. And once you get the needle in the loop, then you can just pull it off the needle because it's already got the string through it. So anyway, sorry, I just had to interrupt because I see that nobody can see anything. Um, and I've already finished the hat, so. You can do one at a time or however you, you need to do it. Okay. Uh-oh, <laughs> getting caught up here. Okay, go on to the next one.
and then our last one. As you can see, it's starting to look like a beanie. Super exciting. Came up. There we go. Just gonna pull it through here. Last one. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to pull it very tightly. We don't want to pull it so tight that we break the yarn. So we just need to keep pulling it around as we're going here. There we go. Look how cute that is. It's adorable. Okay. Okay, and now we're just going to take our yarn and we're going to start putting it through. So we're going to just sew it in to where, where we had it once again. Around the... issues today. See how that's coming together? And we're back at the where it started, it looks like. So, okay. You go through the hole to the inside. Do the same thing just to kind of strengthen it a little bit. I just turned the hat inside out. See this looking good.
Okay, let's see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. That looks good. And now what we're going to do is take it through one more time somewhere. And we're going to tie that part into a knot. So, push it through. And then take it through. See that? And I like to, for good measure, just put another knot. And now we're going to sew the ends in, all of our ends. With the inside top of the hat, it doesn't really matter. Like, it can be kind of long because nobody's going to know it's there, you know? Okay. Okay, so now we're going to cut this about here. Let's still leave it just in case something happens. And here's our cute little newborn beanie for photography prop. Isn't that adorable? And when it's on a head, you know, it's not going to be so. Oh, that's so cute. And so all you have left to do now is to sew these ends in. And I'll show you on one of them how I do that. Let's take this short. Now, of course, with the blue, you're going to want to sew the blue into the blue, okay? Because if you sew it into the um, gray, somehow it might be seen better. So. I'll show you what I like to do here. Okay. We're going to go down a row here and then up a row. And, and these, you can do it kind of messy. Um, it stays in better actually when it's kind of messy messily sewed in, in the fibers. Okay. Okay. See, you can't even see it. I'm gonna sew down. And then we're gonna sew back up through. Sorry, it's getting hard for me to see now that it's getting dark. Okay. So now that's through. And we're just gonna cut this right here. Looks like we got another train going by. This one right here, this was our first end, our first tail. I'm actually going to take and make a little knot out of this one here on the back side and then sew it through just for good measure or hide it just for good measure because that one didn't have anything holding it in. Okay, loosen up a little. And now we're done. Uh oh, it's coming through where people can see it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now we're done. I'm so excited. I can't wait to photograph with this. I'll be doing it this week too. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll be putting out more DIY videos for newborn photography props with all different types of things. So, don't forget to subscribe and comment on. A picture of a hat that you made with this method. Thanks for watching.